That's right. On the uh, phone line right now, I've got uh, Julia Connor, and Julia is a social worker at the University of Vermont Children's Hospital. I guess uh, she works in the pediatric oncology department. Is that right, Julia? I am. I'm the pediatric oncology social worker at UVM Medical Center. And and how did you end up in a job like that? That's a good question. Um, I was working in the hospital in the Children's Specialty Center, um, and this job opened up. Adam Fortune used to have the job, and he said, you should really come and work with this team, and I did, and it's been great. It's like a lot of us... Uh, People just sort of identify you by how you are in person, and they're like, you know, I'm stealing that one. <laughs> <laughs> I got lucky. Yeah, no, I, I think the kids got lucky and the families got lucky. Talk a little bit about what you do with all these families. Sure. So um, I work just with the pediatric oncology group. So um, from the time of diagnosis all the way through uh, treatment and beyond, I'm involved with these kids and their families. and. My role is really to help support them with whatever they need. We do a lot of work with siblings. I help families um, access financial support. I connect them to resources in their communities and um, communicate with schools and just make sure that they feel supported and like they have, um, you know, just sort of that extra layer of, of support from our team. There's a lot of balls up in the air that people don't think about when they think about having a sick kid. And when we're talking about a sick kid, we're talking somebody who's not just at home sitting in bed all the time, but lots of trips back and forth. Some of these families travel pretty long distances to come in for treatment, right? We do. We, um, you know, we serve Vermont and Northern New York. So we have families who travel to our hospital from Messina, Malone, you know, some folks drive almost three hours to get to our hospital for treatment and sometimes that treatment is every day um so we have families who you know it, it's really a a big uh, time commitment and it's really um it's really sort of a huge life changer in terms of what we ask families to do in in order to get treatment for their kids we're talking to Julia Connor. She's the oncology social worker at the University of Vermont uh, Children's Hospital, uh, pediatric oncology social worker. I imagine you must have uh, uh, cohorts who work in all other departments as well, but you're sort of the person who uh, is the go-between uh, for a lot of these families and what they have to deal with. And you have, as part of that, had to learn about Camp Tecumto. What do you think of this organization? It's such a fantastic place. Um, and... You know, it's one of the first things that we talk to our families and, and kids about as a wonderful resource. Um, it's actually more than a resource. It's really a community uh, for families outside of the hospital. Um, and I, and I, I don't know if this is true, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say, you know, I would assume that it's probably one of the only places where these families can go, um, where they ha are surrounded by people who can speak their language. Um, and so, you know, they don't need to explain the kinds of treatment that their kids are in or, you know, describe what it's like to spend eight hours a day in the hospital. Um, the families and volunteers already know what that's like. And so it's sort of this instant family at camp. And I know that those bonds um, last far beyond kids being in treatment. And it's just an amazing resource for our community. We're, we're so lucky to have Camp Tecumseh. 863 1051 or 1-800-501-9565. You can make your donations online right now to WKOL.com. We're talking to Julia Connor. She is uh, uh, somebody who works right on the front lines of when these uh, kids first show up at the hospital. I imagine after they talk to their general practitioner, after the tests have been run, they come to the hospital for an appointment with an oncologist, and then the next thing is you, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm often part of that first conversation with, with the oncologists um, and families. And, um, yeah, these, these kids and families are sort of stuck with me for, for the duration. But, you know, we try to help as much as we can. And, um, you know, I see a lot of these kids every week, if not, you know, multiple times a week. And we just get to know them really well. Um, it's a real... It's just a real joy to get to know these kids and families as well as we do. And 
things are different, of course, now because of COVID. I mean, typically we would have siblings coming to clinic and, um, you know, lots of sort of running around on, on Baird 5, our inpatient pediatric floor. Of course, we can't do that now, but um, we still try and, you know, spend as much time with these kids and families as we can just to sort of be an extra layer of support for them. Well, we appreciate the work that you are doing in steering these families towards this resource that the community has paid for. Camp Tecumta is a big part of the of the healing, uh, not just uh, uh, on a physical level, which you guys are really good at, but on a on a social and spiritual level. And we can't thank you guys enough. Thank you so much. We're so happy to have camp and um, and hope to continue to be connecting kids with camp for for many, many years to come.